Let's have a look at question 3.1 in this video. So we have a store that pays salespeople commission for what they sell. Right now, uh, besides the fixed salary, they are paid 10% of their sales above $3,000 per day. Now, to increase the sales, the store wants to create a new compensation scheme where the workers would still get their fixed salary, but the commission would be 20% above $4,000. Now in both programs, the minimum sales are $2,500. If they sell less than that, they are fired. Uh, okay, what do we have in part A? Which scheme provides incentives to work the hardest? Well, let's see. We have the data over here. And we're gonna solve this using some examples because it's not a mathematical question, it's more intuitive. For instance, let's say we have workers who don't sell that much. Let's say we have workers who are above the minimum sales level, but who are very close to getting commission. So for instance, if we say we have a person who, sale, who sells at the moment, who sells at the moment, uh, for instance, <clears throat> $2,800. So $2,800, that's almost, that's almost $3,000, right? That's almost $3,000. So for him to get commission from the sales, he must, he must work a bit harder to increase his sales uh, until, you know, 3,100, for instance. So the first scheme with the fixed salary and 10% commission is good for this worker when he is close to $3,000, right? For him, it would be good to go for the first uh, scheme. But let's compare that with another guy. Let's say there's another guy who has sales at the moment worth of $3,800. So if he sells $3,800, well, $3,800, that's almost 4K. That's almost <clears throat> 4 thousand dollars for that guy who sells almost four thousand for him is worth to put extra effort to achieve a bit more than four thousand and also get a 20 percent commission for that so for this person the second scheme would be a better incentive what do we notice here why do we give these examples well it's because each scheme is good for different workers there's low productive workers like people who don't sell that much for them to keep them motivated would would be good to have the first scheme and on the, other, on the other side, there's guys who can sell more and for them, the second scheme would be better. One thing to notice though, one thing to notice though, that for instance, if we do have this uh, salespeople who sell only 2,800 and let's say that the store decides to go for the second scheme, how does the second scheme affect these salespeople? Well, look, from 2,800, they have very little chance to go all the way to 4,000. I mean, above $4,000, right? So for them, the second scheme would make it actually less motivating because they'll understand there's little probability for them to get commission. So what they're going to do, instead of selling 2,800, they're just gonna sell their bare minimum of 2,500 because there's no point in putting extra effort since they don't get any commission at all. That's the idea. So depending on the level of the salesperson, different schemes are better, meaning there is no one single answer here. Hope this makes sense. We, uh, next video we go to part B.